Hey Francois, so I have been asked many times, in fact, not just not just this week, but I've been asked this week especially, what the hell is Teams, SharePoint, OneDrive? Um, how do I find my way? But it was more about um, I'm saving a file in OneDrive and then I realized that the same appears in SharePoint and I deleted one, one way, but it gets deleted the other way as well. So. I just need to clarify all this with uh, with all of you. So let's have a look. I'm going to start with Teams, in fact, because for me, that's the, obviously the latest uh, iteration of, of all the tools we have. And uh, it's supposed to be a nice way to access information. So if we open Teams, right, I have created a quick team here called Champion Space. By the way, I've used a, a template, so that's great. That's the, one of the latest feature we can have template and creates us uh, all these channels for us. So if we just go to the first one and we have a look at what is offered, the first channel is always post, so conversation used to be, then files and then wiki. So the first thing is like wiki, actually it's a nice way, but I don't really use it. So in many cases, I will actually remove it. I don't really care about wiki within Teams. What I tend to do is to definitely use files and then use the conversation. So what do we have in files? Files, obviously we can just create them straight away from Teams. We don't have to go anywhere. We don't have to open Word. We can just open here, do, do a new Word file from Teams. And I'm really typing it from Teams so that we, we find out later where it's going to be showing. Okay, and here I'm just going to type some uh, documents, some text. So I just have some text and all I do is that I can close it and that's it. My file is being saved in Teams, right? So now what's the link with the other one? What's the link with uh, OneDrive, SharePoint, all this? So the link with OneDrive is zero, okay? The link with SharePoint definitely because we have a button here that says open in SharePoint. So let's open the same library that I saw in Teams. Now I'm opening it in SharePoint. And you can see that it's showing it into a in environment that looks like SharePoint because it's written at the top, really. And also because the address always tells me that this is a SharePoint site. And this is the name of my, or the URL of my SharePoint site. And it's a library called Shared Document, but in the latest iteration of SharePoint, the latest a few years ago, called modern site, it's just called documents. But we know that the URL is actually shared space document because of historic, historic they just kept the space. So it's person 20. <clears throat> so this SharePoint library is showing me one file, but we can understand that it's inside a general folder because if I click on the breadcrumb here, I come back to document and here I have my general and then I have something called calendar. So let's come back to Teams a bit. And let's actually move Teams a little bit um, to the left so we can compare. So here we have my team. If I go back to my, here we go, to my team itself and see all the channel, I can see that I have general and then I have calendar. So it looks like, it doesn't look like, it's the reality is that a channel in team creates a folder in SharePoint. Okay, so let's go to announcement now. So I'm opening announcement and now I'm going to go to files in Teams, right? So I'm going to files and then what happens is there's no files at all in this. But let's just create one. So if I create it and this time I'm going to create a PowerPoint, but we can see already that it has created me a folder in my SharePoint. So let's do a PowerPoint from Teams. So PPTX from Teams and I create it. So again, I can just create my, uh, do my own PowerPoint in a Teams environment, which is nice because I don't have to open the full client. I can if I click on this link at the top, but I don't have to, so that's pretty neat. And of course, I can already start designing it and choose one of the great templates. Thank you. Here we go. And all I have 
have to do now is to close it. So if I go a little bit more on the right, here we go. Come on, close button. So remember that the file is saved into a channel in announcement, in the channel announcement. This is the file and this is the file, here we go. And now we have a folder in SharePoint. So if I click the folder, I just find exactly the same thing. But the advantage is now is that in SharePoint, I have all of this menu where I can do really huge feature, which I also talk in some of the videos. I can start a Power Automate. I can do a lot of business automation using the power of SharePoint. So that's great. In Teams now, it's a much simpler interface. However, it's all about collaboration. I need to collaborate with my colleagues. I need to call them if I need anything. I can call them, I can do a meeting, I can chat, etc. So it means that if I'm into my PowerPoint, the idea is that I'm going to collaborate, right? So I open my PowerPoint and then what I want to do when I'm working on this PowerPoint, I'm like going to have a title, great press, and I want to bring my colleagues to this because I want them to go there and do a new slide and continue the presentation with me. So I'm going to be able to do conversation. And guess what? The conversation is going to stay in my Teams, right? Because here, remember that I'm only in Teams. So I'm going to call a colleague and I'm going to tag someone. So who do I have in this organization? Oh, I need to obviously add the user to my teams and right now my team was created I didn't add anyone so I don't even know if I can tag myself no I cannot but basically I would mention someone and I would say please come have a look and help me and then the person would receive the message in teams so notification in teams if they're not in teams they will then see an email in a in a few minutes by email because they have configured or by default teams is configured so that it will alert me after 10 minutes so if i close that i'm back to my files right but if i come back a few days later and i want to find out uh, conversation i want to find if people have responded to i will see it in post so i can see all the text the common the comments that have been done in my document but it's all in teams so that's pretty good right so now, what's the link with uh, comment in, uh, in Excel or comment in uh, Word, comment in PowerPoint? Well, again, there isn't actually, because if I do an Excel spreadsheet from Teams, and then I'm going to add a comment to this Excel spreadsheet. So let's put a bit of data into my new Excel that is being created. So I'm just going to add more things to this. So now I have more data. I um, I want to actually tell someone like um, maybe there are some data basically missing, and I want to bring my colleague and say you need to have a look at this or maybe you need to call this uh, this employee. So I would right click on it and I would do a new comment, right? So if I do a new comment in Excel again, I can mention someone. So oh actually here I can mention myself. You see how funny? Here we go. So I'm going to mention myself strangely because I want to assign my own task maybe. And uh, I want to say uh, data missing TBC. Here we go. So it's going to send me an email and tell me like there's a comment for you. Maybe your colleague has sent a, a message or comments, but it's going to link. I can click on the link on my email and it will send me exactly to this spreadsheet and this, this cell nothing to do with teams because in fact the link may open the excel spreadsheet yes it's stored on sharepoint because it's teams stored on sharepoint but we don't have to know how we access it do we access it through teams do we access it through sharepoint it's just direct link because we are uh, authenticated so now if i wanted to have a comment on the whole excel because i want my colleague to just generally have a look and maybe I could tell them like, okay, have a look at this spreadsheet and have a look at F4. Then I have to use, I have to be in Teams, open the, the, the spreadsheet and then do conversation again. And then again, I would tag my colleague 
and I would say check all plus F, uh, was it F4? Right, and they receive a message, but they see it on Teams and everybody can see it on Teams. All right, so I hope it clarifies a little bit all this regarding Teams. Why do we use it? Teams is files, collaboration, and much simpler uh, than, than SharePoint because here you can see we don't have as many options as we have in a SharePoint. Let's open SharePoint again. Here we have all of these features that we can use. And finally, I'm going to talk about OneDrive and, and what's the link because we can still see these files just to confuse everyone. So now if I click on my multiple uh, application tab or menu, I can open apps and then OneDrive, right? So let's open OneDrive in a new tab here. So now I have my own OneDrive, right? So all of this is my own folders and some of them are shared, by the way. You can see that this is shared. Most of them are private. That's always how I advise it. I have private and then maybe a few folders that are shared. But then on the left hand side, I have my files, the recent files. So I can see, I can access directly the files I've been working on. But surprise, surprise, Yes, I'm in OneDrive. In my recent, I can see things that are actually on different areas. So here is really my OneDrive, I believe, because it's personal, Francois, all that. But this one is say site, champion state, site, champion site. So it's exactly the site I was using here. So it means that these files are showing on my recent in my OneDrive, but they are not on OneDrive. All right, so that's what I call, just to confuse everyone, this is what we offer you here. So why is it there? It's because it's one way of accessing all of our data. It doesn't matter where it is. Is it in OneDrive? Is it in SharePoint? Is it in Teams? Because some people still think that Teams is not SharePoint, but now you know it is. It is the same place. You just access it in OneDrive and you don't have to know where it is. So if I open that, I was just saying earlier, you may click on an email, a comment in an email, or a comment in Excel that you receive an email. You may click in a notification in, in Teams. But in the end, you click on the link, you open your spreadsheet, and that's where it is. We don't really know where it is, right? The only way I will find out where is my spreadsheet is to go at the top here, and here it tells me it's in Champion Space, and it's announcement. And we have to kind of yeah, so we have to click on Champion Space to go back there. And then we realize, that, oh, right, yeah, that's a SharePoint site. Okay? Other thing that we do in, in uh, OneDrive is that we can see here quick access. And the quick access gives us access to all our uh, spaces, all our sites. So one of them that I am following, but it's very new because I just created it, is called Champion Space. So it will show automatically inside this. And as you can see, it's the frequent. So maybe it's not really that frequent at the moment, right now. Maybe I didn't follow it as well. So I may have to click follow. And that's why then it's going to show in my list of, uh, of sites after a few minutes, because we, uh, we can't really control this or how fast, how slow. Uh, for sure, if I go back to my SharePoint list here, it also has to show in the photo. So all this is basically an ecosystem now that everything is, is shared, everything is Office 6.5, and if we access it somewhere, it will be accessed um, in a central place on maybe the list of SharePoint, the list of OneDrive, and of course, Delve, because in Delve, I will be able to access my whole environment, any files that I have updated, I will access it on Delve as well. So if I click on me here, I should be able to get back to any files that I used recently. So here we have my private document, employees, but we have the one I've just created, right? And with a link to the champion space. So again, we are not supposed to lose any documents anymore because they're accessible from anywhere. But just be mindful of who you shared it with and how is all this uh, architecture of permission being uh, being uh, created. 
So for that, I have lots of videos where I talk about permission, how to share things properly. So have a look at this. It's quite useful. Hope you like it. Please, I'm going to start doing like some YouTuber. Please subscribe down there. Make sure that you uh, subscribe to see, to receive our late, my latest uh, uh, videos. And also, well, go to my blog because you can subscribe to the to the latest writings that I do. And it's all straight to your inbox about once a week thank you please let me know if it's if it's okay or not by liking and subscribing and speak and see you next time cheers